All right, we're going to go over the new ribbon. It came in. Woo -woo. I'm so excited. I'm Robin with Robin's Wreath Wreath. I do custom signs, wreath signs, all kinds of different things. Um, tonight, I'm going to show you the ribbon that I got that matches the signs. This is our gnome. And this is the mint ribbon that has white glitter. I don't know if you can see that. Let me, there we go. So that's the ribbon that goes with the gnomes. And the gnomes are now listed on Etsy. You get three. I was playing with this fun, this um, fur today. <laughs> <laughs> it's sticking to everything. It's everywhere. There you go. You get the sign, and you can get the gnomes, and you can get the ribbon to match. It's all listed in my Etsy shop now. Hi, Nanny Dot. So we've got those. I've done a lot of customizing to these. You've got glitter. You've got some puff paint on there. All my signs are my signs are UV protected and what I've done is I've waterproofed and UV protected the um, fabric that attaches to the wood. All right. You're going to still have some fading if your item is in direct sun. So I'm just sharing that with you. All right. The new peanut butter egg recipe sign five by seven is now in the shop. And here is the ribbon that matches it. I'm trying to get in some good light here for you. There, does that help? You've got green, you've got pink, you've got blue, and you've got yellow in this. You've got that in your sign. And I'm showing you the new chocolate bunny that comes with three eggs. Now, as you can see, I attach tinsel tie to the back. Just makes it so much easier for you to attach it to your wreath. But there's the bunny. And he's got some glitter on him and a little bit of embellishment going on. And then you've got the three eggs that match. They are now available in the Etsy, uh, Etsy store. Hi, Susan. So they will be, they are now released. I'm still working on the leprechaun. I got a few more tricks up my sleeve, so I'm not going to let it get to me. <laughs> I hope not. All right. So y'all know I, I did get the Damascus in. It does go with the, the new Annie um, and her sign. We've got the cow. I love the cows. I love cows. And this is a peach um, checked. I forget what that's called. It's not called check. Oh. A diagonal stripe is what it's called. And it matches the sign. So that's now in the shop. Now with these um, gnome valentines, we've got the border. I now have in stock the, um, the matching ribbon. All my um, ribbon that's listed, it's 10 yards. This is two and a half inch. Um, these were one inch, one and a half inch. Okay. Then we have our primitive snowman sign. And I give you a choice of two ribbons with that. I have a brown with ivory and I have a moss with ivory. Both one and a half inch. They go perfect with the sign. He's got a lot of brown in there. He's got a lot of green in there. So there's two choices with that one that you could choose from. Then we have... And this is, this is my all-time favorite this season. 
I have been waiting for this. This ribbon matches this sign perfectly. So in this sign, you've got black, you've got yellow, you've got red, um, you've got a little bit of orange going on. Well, this is orange, red, and yellow. So this matches this sign. You could even add, because you've got the heart border on that, you can even add the heart border with that. I try when I do these to have um, a ribbon in mind. It just makes it a little easier on you when you are putting your design together. Then we have the other, this B sign, um, you belong to me, comes with two different backgrounds. You've got this background and then you've got this pink background. This ribbon was designed around, was this sign was designed around this ribbon. So it's a perfect match. Okay. Then what else we got? Well, I'm not done with the bunnies yet. I mean, I've got one made out of the block head. But if you see, this is the pink with the gray um, dots, or I have it gray with pink dots. These Swiss dots are raised. There's a gray with white, and then there's the pink with white. Perfect match with these. What else we got? Um, these are ones I have not listed yet, but I have signs that are coming up that these will be part of. The diagonal stripes are, are really popular this year. That and the Swiss dots. So I've got this in black and white. Then I have a sign coming out that I'll be using the yellow, or if anybody wants, okay, it can also go with the um, peanut butter egg recipe sign. So that's a good match too. We've also got, now you saw the cupcake wreath I made, all right? The cupcakes have been listed. They now have the little whipped cream topping. This goes great with this. So I'm going to list this tomorrow. And um, it will be available in 10 yard increments. And this is the one that I used with the sign. I thought I ordered it, but I guess I didn't. This has like the beige. But you can get this one from Craft Outlet. It's the diagonal stripe. You've got pink, red, you've got some gold, and you've got beige, all of which is in this sign. Thank you, Esther. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Dawn. Then, with um, St. Patrick's Day coming up, I thought this was a nice one, and it does go with my sign. I'm still struggling with the blockhead I think I have another alternative. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> liking this beard. I'm not liking this. I'm, I'm, it is so not working for me. This hat is a good size for it, but it's still not doing it for me. Mainly because this guy was developed to be flat. This is not flat, okay? So I have another idea for him. Um, we're going to go ahead and try and duplicate the hat in the sign and make it flat. Now by flat, what I've been doing, I don't know if you've seen this, but I now have, I have a small CNC machine. I just ordered a bigger one. So with the bigger one, we're going to be able to get bigger wreath attachments. Um, there's going to be a lot of new ideas coming out. Right now, this one can only do like one bunny, one egg at a time. 
The new one will be able to do several at a time, which will be an awesome savings. Because when we do the nooms, it's only doing one noom at a time. So, and it has to make several passes. Each time it makes a pass, it goes deeper. So, um, the new one hopefully will take care of that. And this can also be used to go with the um, sign, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go live on Wednesday. I will be going live on Friday at 7 o'clock. Um, we're having a marathon with hardworking mom and I'm going to be doing the gnome wreath as my Valentine's wreath. Okay. Just so you know, probably won't be on Wednesday, but definitely I thought about that, but I think what I, Susan, what I've, what I've taken from this, I'm going to be able to put that hat on him and then a similar hat to the tube. So for the um, leprechaun sign, you can either get the tube or you can get the uh, blockhead, which will be different from what I've been working with today because it's, it's not my vision. I had a different vision and I want to work with that. So, so you'll either be able to purchase the tall one or the blockhead. I just have to get the the hat right. It, it's not working for me. All right. I also have um, a pet sign coming up that this ribbon is going to be so cute. And even if you did like this and this together, I'm into the red and black this year. I don't know why. I think they're a really good combination. And then I've got the Swiss dots and also this one. I've got this in peach and white. Yes, Georgie, I do. I make all my own signs. At the top of the comments, thank you, Esther. Um, there is a link to my Etsy shop and all but these ribbons are are in the shop these aren't yet um, these aren't yet but each sign has the ribbon already listed in the shop next to the sign so you can see um, I do custom signs yay I forgot you did you get the little hearts Vicki because I forgot to ship them and then I had to mail them out separately. Hi, Kayla. So if you didn't get them today with your girl, then you will get them. <laughs> I was like, ah. And then Missy, when I sent off your girl, I forgot to add the um, tinsel tie to the back. So I apologize. I'm sure you have access to a staple gun and can do that. I do um, also logos. I do also, um, where's my apron? Of course, it's wrapped around my camera. <laughs> I do logos and I do aprons too. Um, so, but with this new CNC machine, we'll be able to go bigger on our wreath attachments and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Not sure I understand. Oh my gosh, that's too funny that they came at the same time, Vicki. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying, Georgie. If you mean, do I have a class? I'm not sure what you mean, but um, this, this sign was developed for a customer of mine. She loved the gingerbread recipe sign at Christmas, so she wanted an Easter recipe sign. So this is an, this is an 
an authentic uh, peanut butter egg recipe. And the peanut butter eggs are to die for. <laughs> they are so good. So, and there's only like four ingredients, butter, peanut butter, powdered sugar, and you melt chocolate chips or chocolate candy to dip them in. Very easy to do. Um, so I would highly recommend that if you're making them. Uh, I've had requests. I did put one in there. It says grandma's peanut butter eggs. I can personalize this if you have somebody that's well known for their purse, their uh, peanut butter eggs. I can, I can add that. At this time, I don't, Georgie. I don't, I don't teach class. I do on Mondays and Wednesdays. I always, um, I'm on Mondays at six and Wednesday at two in the afternoon, and I always do a wreath. But this time, I know I've been bragging on these ribbons for a while, and I wanted to be able to show you. They actually came in early, which was awesome because there were some people that ordered so I could ship it out right away. They've been waiting patiently because um, I thought the shipment would be here sooner than it did. So you can always watch me. I do lives. And if you go to the front page of my Facebook page and look up videos on the left-hand side, there will be a video for every time I went live showing you how to do a wreath. Um, if you have any questions at any time, don't hesitate to ask me. You can message me. Um, if you need a certain sign with a name or something on it, message, message me. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited. We have been, um, contemplating buying a CNC machine since before Christmas. I bought a little one, which like I said, does these really good, but it doesn't, doesn't go bigger and I want to go bigger. So we're going bigger. <laughs> we're learning. Sure, Myrna, which, okay. All right, we'll just backtrack here. I don't know if any of you saw, some of you have already ordered and they were already sent out. Susan's went out, Missy's went out. Um, the Annie, the Raggy Annie, she went out and this, she's for sale, the signs for sale and the matching ribbon is on, in my Etsy shop. So, and it comes with three little hearts. Now they don't have any kind of attachment on it because you're going to use a flower or whatever in here. So you're just going to be able to tuck them back of something and hot glue them. They've been sprayed. But like I said, you still have to be careful of direct sunlight. Then we have, I did this on a live the other week. These are my new cupcakes. And they match the cupcakes in sign. And sometimes if you see me on a live uh, making a wreath and you don't see that ribbon in my shop, contact me. I am always happy to share 10 yards if I have it, okay? So I can always post it for you and you can purchase it that way. This one is You Belong to Me. There's that Rick Rack ribbon that goes with that one. I don't know if you can see like the detail in there. This sign here has a stump on it. Okay, I will personalize the initials on that stump for you. All you have to do is indicate in the listing where it says personalized. Just give me the two initials you want on there. That's, that just makes it so much more personal. Okay, and this ribbon goes with that. Matches good. Then we have... The cow sign. I love cows. You know me and my cows. 
this and then if you added the um, cow ribbon with that oh my gosh that would be so cute let me just move those to the side then we have went more primitive on this sign okay you've got the primitive gingham ribbon you've got it in brown and ivory or moss and ivory so they kind of match that snowman sign i wanted to do a sign that would kind of take you from after Christmas into Valentine's Day. And if you got a snowman lover in your life, this is a perfect sign. Okay. Then we've got we've got the ribbon to match this. I have it in the two and a half. So it matches the border on this sign. Then we have, this is my whole reason for coming on tonight, <laughs> was to show you the ribbon. Now you've got light blue in here, you've got purple, you've got peach, you've got teal, you've got silver. This is just one to get you started, but you can pull all those colors out of this sign. And then you have these wreath attachments to go with the sign. See, I cut them, we cut them out of wood, I paint them, and then I place the fabric on there. It's a special sublimating fabric. And then I decorate it with a little bit of glitter or ribbons, just to kind of give it a little dimension. So that's the one sign. Thank you. Yes, right? Yes, that's what I'm doing, Brenda. And then everybody has been waiting on this, as well as me. My peanut butter recipe sign now has a bunny and three eggs to go with the sign. Now, I don't know if you can see the background in this sign, but this ribbon here matches the background and the pieces that are in the sign. Oh, thanks. This, this was fun. Like, this is fun. I mean, I'm, I'm really getting into adding extra items with the sign. I mean, these are something you're not going to find anywhere else. Okay. Because these are handmade. Um, and I think that was it. And then we had the... Where'd it go? I haven't listed the bunny yet because I'm still, still working on that. Okay. But we have the ribbon. The gold with the white raised... Or gray with the white raised dots. Swiss dots. Or the pink with the Swiss dots because this bunny has gray dots there but then the gray bunny has pink dots so and we have a bunch of uh, tear tray signs that will be coming soon so just keep watching because my mind is going and there's going to be a lot of neat things coming up more of the tube um, items that match the sign. I'm working on his hat and the hat on the blockhead too. So we're still working those out. <laughs> ah, pulled my hair out with him today. I mean, if you would have seen me, I was nothing but orange all over. I'm just not feeling this. So this is gonna this is gonna totally change. And when it does, then the uh, the um, the bow we made last week, we're going to use that because this sign comes with a wood background or a gray background. So you have two choices. You can go warm, 
colors or you can go cool colors. And with this one, we're going to go cool because we're going to use the gray background. And this is something else, too, that I'm going to add to the wreath when we do it. Boxwood. Because this does resemble um, clover. And this looks awesome in this wreath. So we're going to work on that. And like I said, I probably won't go live on Wednesday unless I have something new developed. Um, but I will be going Friday night at 7 to do the gnome wreath. We're going we're gonna to do this one, and we're going to do it big. So, have I answered everybody's questions? Is there something that you wanted to see again is there something that um again these were just the other ribbons that i haven't listed yet these are for upcoming signs i think this one is listed with the the valentine gnome wreath but the other ones oh And I got my Robin's eggs in today. <laughs> I have a Robin sign that I'm working on, and I wanted eggs to go with the sign, so my eggs are in. Wish my chicken eggs were in. They're not laying again, so. Well, thank you, Debbie. I try to go different. I try to take you in a different direction. I try, to me it's so frustrating when you have a sign and you can't find anything to match it. And it's nice just to do ribbon tails and such, but it's nice to have something to complement the sign. And that's what you have with, with my signs. I try to make you something that's going to go with the sign that came out of the sign that looks exactly like the sign and and ribbon. I mean, it's just going to create so much more interest for you. So does anybody have any questions? Is there something you want me to make? Is there something for an upcoming season that you're interested in? I hate, I hate to throw these out. I thought maybe even children might have a good time just tracing on them or something. It's, it's frustrating when this is the, the size that your machine will cut because you have to have that size piece of wood on there so it doesn't fly around, but then you've lost all this space. With the bigger machine, we're going to be able to put a, a bunch of bunnies in a row, a bunch of eggs in a row, and not waste any space. I have a welcome sign coming up too, a really nice welcome sign that you could hang a wreath from or, or whatever. So we're waiting on the new machine to do that. Um, what else? The tear tray signs. So, if there's something else you're interested in, um, just let me know. So, I guess that's pretty much it. I pretty much just wanted to jump on and share the new ribbon with you. And, um... Let you know what, what I have, what's available. Okay. Stripes are in. Bolds are bold like the damask ribbon. That kind of stuff is in this year. So. All right. That's about it. I got to get back to work. I have a supplier that I use because I have a taxed 
tax number. So I have a, a, a supplier that I use. You have to have a tax number to use him. Um, some of the ribbon I first purchased on at Craft Outlet. And you don't need a tax uh, number for Craft Outlet. But I purchased it there first to make sure, like this is a linen. Um, you want to stay away from, oh, the satin ribbon. Satin ribbon does not hold up well. You want canvas or you want like, um, they call it denim. It's like a heavy duty. So I usually purchase it there first. I pay top dollar for it try it out, make sure I'm comfortable with it, and that I wouldn't mind, um, you know, that it's easy to work with and it's gonna stand up well. And then I start developing a sign around the ribbon, and then I go to my supplier and I purchase it from him. Because if you're looking for ribbon, check out my prices first. I don't make a whole lot on it. Um, it's basically, if you gotta, if you gotta buy a bunch of ribbon from here and pay shipping, and then come to me to buy the sign and pay shipping, it's so much easier to just buy it all at once and have it shipped all at once. Why pay double shipping on stuff? That doesn't make sense to me. So that's why I started carrying it. So it would be available to you. It would all go out at once. So the only thing you need to get is the mesh and a Dollar Tree wireframe, and boom, you're ready to go. I even sell the tinsel tie in my store. I have the beige and I have the white. And, and you have all heard me say it, if you watch me, that I will not use pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners, the more you twist them, they can rust and break very easily. This stuff does not break. You cannot bend it. I mean, you can't over bend it. It is not going to break. So I only use tinsel ties and I tried to go with two neutral colors to make it easier for everybody. Again, you know, when you're purchasing, get it all at once. Why pay double shipping? That's, that's crazy. And now, I mean, there are, Joann's is carrying some okay mesh. So I mean, most of the stuff, you're, it's a one-stop shop. You get everything at one time. Then you just go out and buy your wreath base and your, um, your mesh. And if you can get your mesh locally, that saves you on shipping. Did you make it already, Vicki? <laughs> Thank you. Where do you get what, Summer? Are you talking about the ribbon and the signs and the tinsel tie I have in my Etsy store? And that link is at the top of the comments. So I'm not sure what you're looking for. A lot of this, the big ribbon I have in my shop, it's already listed in there. Oh, the tinsel ties. I get it from my supplier. It is in my shop. The white and the beige. I think it's like $2 or something for a roll of it. One roll is I think 26 feet. And I can get all the ties for my wreath base. I use the tie for the ribbon, for the bow, and if I'm using the sign, I can put a little hole in each corner, and I can use the tinsel tie to tie that to the wreath base. So, and you'll have a little bit left over. You are so welcome. It, it's, it's the strongest stuff there is out there. I'll tell you what. I, 
Once I saw my wreaths falling apart with the uh, pipe cleaners, <laughs> that's it. I'm not going back to pipe cleaners. Just not happening. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. Like I said, I may pop on Wednesday. I doubt it, but look for me on Friday at 7 o'clock. We're going to be doing the gnome wreath. So I look forward to seeing y'all then. All right, have a great evening. If I didn't see your question, I'll go back and check. If you need anything or have any more questions, just message me. All right, good night and thank you.